Hi there and welcome, I'm The Technician Project and today's tutorial is going to show you how to do a guitar mix in Logic Pro X. Now we left off our project in a previous video after doing the bass guitar mix and the video before that we done the drum mix. So as you can see here we have the drums and the bass all mixed and we've got a drum mix bus and a bass mix bus. So now we're just going to show off our guitars, we're just going to unhide them and then we've got four guitars, we've got two left and two right and we're going to unmute them and we're going to mute everything to do with the drums and the bass because we don't want to hear them, we're just going to mute this last kick drum up here and we're just going to adjust that so we can see our audio effects we're going to mute the second guitars which is a different guitar line so we're just going to pan this one hard left and hard right and just swap those two around because one should be left left always on top lovely so we can play that from the beginning so we've got one panned hard left and one panned hard right to increase the stereo field now just going to adjust the volume slightly, but because they're the same guitar, we want to make sure the guitar is adjusted on both channels. So we're just going to put a quick EQ on this one. Now this one's a bit more of a distorted guitar, so keep an eye on the EQ response there. And we're just going to put on a E. Hmm, which EQ should we pick? Quite a few choices in the default section. I'm just gonna pick hmm gonna pick the clean up guitar. I'm just gonna move the bass frequency in a bit and increase the high. Yeah, just move a few of these around here to make sure it's hitting the frequency responses. Lovely, we're going to now put in compression on it. And adjust the compression. Let's just select one first, which one should we put? Um, the guitar electric, I think it is. There we go. Just going to adjust that slightly. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just turn that down because it's obviously hitting, it's clipping a little bit. So we're going to copy these over because channel 1 and channel 2 are the same guitar, just different microphones and the pan's like differently. So now we need to adjust the volumes to so make sure they're exactly the same and pan them so they're perfect. So just double click on that section there, the dB, and type in minus 3 and double click on the other one and type in minus 3 just so they match up. Lovely. So I still think that we'll move on now I think we'll move on to uh, what we're looking at putting distortion on I think yeah so just I'm just gonna try and find the distortion and being a bit dumb I didn't realize it was above the dynamics so distortion what above it I'm just gonna put on a normal distortion which is that one there now we're gonna have a quick listen to this Let's put a warm distortion on. We're going to edit it a little bit and have a play around because this guitar needs to be a crunchier, distorted guitar. Now the effects was already set on the amp, but we want to increase that effect. So I made the silly mistake here of not soloing the left track. So I'm going to copy this over to the to the other track, and it is too distorted now. It actually sounds better about the distortion on it. So it sounds really muffled now. So we're going to go with hmm, always listen back to your tracks. Let's try and adjust the EQ here to try and bring up that 
that tone a little bit. I don't like it on, so we're going to decide we're not going to use it. We'll just adjust the... So we listened to the whole track there and we're going to now listen to the track again, but with the other guitar. So it's slightly different, this guitar. This one's going to be a very clean version of a different riff line. So you can tell automatically that it sounds different. So we're just going to change, add some EQ, add some single compression, electric funk guitar for this one because it's slightly different. Um, strawing pattern to the previous guitar and it's a slightly different riff to the previous guitar so I'm just going to adjust the, the funk guitar and copy that over and then we're going to put some compression on it just go to guitar I'm going to put guitar electric compression and I'm just going to adjust everything on there to not sound as harsh, so even adjusting the attack, the release, and the knee, just to make it not sound less harsh. Just copy that over to that one. That sounds lovely. So you can't get a real feel of your guitars until you really mix them all in with the vocals and the drums and the bass, you can really mix your guitars in better. Now this track is a guitar driven track, that's why there's two guitars. So we're just adjusting the EQ here, trying to bring the brightness up on this piece and just turn the overall volume up as well. Just make sure I've copied all the settings over, so I'm just going to do a alt click and just click and drag the settings over to make sure they both match because of the same guitar, two microphones pan differently. I'm just going to turn that down because it's clipping a little bit. To about 4, because oh no, we're going to lower to about 5.4. 5.4, lovely. Perfect. So what we're going to do now is listen to the two guitars together. And you can hear the distorted ones the main guitar and the other guitar is just giving that the brightness back to it so we're going to play the whole track together now let's unmute everything and just adjust the mix as we go along right from the beginning and we're just going to adjust everything as we go along and play with it So I'm just adjusting volumes here of certain instruments. What I can hear needs to be turned up or turned down. Never always turn everything up, always turn things down if need to be. Now the overheads for me aren't coming through as clear as I want them to. They, they sound very compressed and not as bright as they should do. So we're not, not gonna add the effects. I'm gonna remove them from the bus and just set them to a stereo output. And you can immediately hear they're so much brighter. I'm going to do the same on the hi hat because I want it to be a bit brighter. And because I removed it from the boss, it's not having the drum mix associated to it. If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like rating and subscribe for more. Thank you for watching and see you next time.